Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here with another video and just wanted to say Do you smell that? Oh, it's love in the air. <laughs> love should always be in the air, especially if you're married. Well, if you're single, yeah, as well, but whatever floats your boat. But I say it from a married perspective because I am married and love should always be in the air, not just because it's Valentine's coming up, but it should always be there. And even through your ups and downs, love should still stand. And I know that you're going to watch this video, sweetie. And I just want to tell you, my love, that I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate the husband that you are to me. I appreciate the father that you are to our children. I appreciate the man who you are in general. I thank God for you. I'm in love with you, my love. I'm deeply in love with you and I am a very blessed woman because I have a great man in my life and I thank God for you my love. I love, appreciate everything that you do for me and your kids my love. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your words of wisdom. Thank you for your shoulder. Thank you for being my best friend my love and I love you. So I'm on lunch right now and I came to get some Habit or The Hobbit, whatever. They have bomb fried green beans and I'll show you guys what I get. But today we have a, a Valentine's banquet with our church. They do like a romantic setting and I'll bring you guys along as well. But um, I will see you guys when I get my food get from and the habit I get the number one charbroiled cheeseburger and I get the fried green beans with the side of ranch and a Dr. Pepper bomb and I'll see you guys when I'm done eating alrighty you guys so I'm done eating my food let me just say the habit is so bomb um, if you like fried green beans they're bomb I also like fried pickles bomb and it has to be with ranch so I'm on my way back to work and once I get out of work, I'll be going home to get ready. My husband will be getting ready and we'll be off to the Valentine's banquet. We'll see you guys once we're on our I way. I just got home and we have some visitors. <laughs> we have Nana Noria, great grandma with Malachi. Julie, you see? Say hi. Hi Malachi, say hi. Hi Malachi. We have Toto. Hi, Hi Toto. <laughs> and we have Bianca visiting us. Take out her chest. Uh -huh. Go hide. <laughs> Toto. Great grandpa. <laughs> holding Malachi. Alrighty, so we're all dolled up. I'm all dolled up. And my husband looking handsome. As always. Oh my love. <laughs> <laughs> So we are on our way now to the Valentine's Banquet and we're going to bring you guys along, show you guys a little bit of what goes on in there. What do you got to say about the banquet, my love? Uh, You're going on what, 13 years? We thir are going on 13 years? 13 years, yeah, to the banquet, yeah. To the banquet, the Valentine's 13 years banquet. saved, everything, it's 13 years in this new life. Um, that's good. I like it. I mean, some of it's kind of corny, but overall, it's a good thing. I like it. I enjoy it. Um, it allows us to uh, break ice, uh, do things that normally we wouldn't do. Uh, it's like an intimate moment, huh? No, right there? not intimate. But or maybe it is intimate. It's just where. Well, yeah, it is. I guess. Yeah. To say it that way. Um, because you're holding hands, looking in each other's eyes saying things that normally at any other time maybe you wouldn't say you know so it's a uh, practicing uh it's like a practice to me because i do it now you know but years ago it was like ah <laughs> we knew each other but we didn't know each other you know but today i can say we're blessed today we're 
our relationship is beautiful. And you, know, you might ask, why do you go to couples class? We go because God is good. Yes. We go because God has blessed our marriage. He's restored us as individuals and as a family. And most importantly, as a marriage, he's restored us. And I know there's a lot of marriages out there that go through things. I know there's a lot of marriages out there that maybe don't communicate with each other. They might be on the phone while they're having dinner. There's other distractions instead of conversating. And I think, yeah, you're right. The intimacy, this uh, this brings it out where we conversate with each other. Yeah. Um, so overall, it's, it's good. The banquet's good. I like it. I enjoy it. It's corny because I'm not used to some of the things. Or I should say I wasn't used to some of the things. Now I do them. Now it's good. Um, I'm a sly romantic. <laughs> yeah, I put it down. I put it down. So we'll see you guys when we get there. So this is the entrance. We have Sister Patty. And this is the raffle. The gift from the raffle. Things you could take pictures with. How much to set up? What can I go for? sense of saying I am fully dependent on you I can't do it without you what are some points or some areas that we could lose that we need to be awakening or we need to bring life in and one of those areas is very known and is very is like uh, number one and it's intimacy as you start Having uh, some years in your marriage, you start, stop losing, you lose the interest of intimacy. You come to a place where like intimacy is not important. Especially when you start growing into an age that you start, lo stop losing that interest and you go into an age where you can't seem to have that intimacy with each other as much as what, when you used to. You got to understand that the book of Psalms, the Psalms, was a connection between Christ and the church. And Christ is saying in the book of Psalms that without intimacy in the Father through the Son, it is impossible to have God in your heart. The importance of intimacy is that you come together to touch emotionally each other again. When a relationship has not had intimacy in a long time, 
they lose that sense that their heart starts being callous. They get hard. And they start becoming insensitive to each other because they lose that touch, that physical touch towards each other. So you become dormant or asleep. One of the greatest um, epidemics in marriage is that they lose the connection of intimacy. We, we, this is not done. This was not originated. Set me as a seal upon your heart. Look at this. Look at the way he's speaking. Set, set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. Go to the, uh, the, the PTP or the message, if you could give me either one. He says, fasten me upon your heart as a seal of fire forevermore. Come on, look at your relationship, your marriage, amen. You know, Sandra Songs says so detailed. He says, don't awaken love until the appropriate time. Amen. Some people awaken something that is not ready to be awakened. If you're married, this is why I called it awaken love. Because it's the covenant of marriage. If you have a covenant, awaken it. Awaken your salvation, Romans says. Look at what he says. He says, this living, consuming flame will seal you as my prisoner of love. My passion is stronger. Come on. I, I, want, I want you to read it with me. Read this with me. Read this with me. Start with my passion. Ready? Start it with me. Ready? One, two, three. My passion is stronger than the chains of death and the grave. Consuming as the very flash of fire and the heart of God. Place is unrelenting fire, our next theme of our marriage. This is important for you to understand that, he, look at the, the, the importance of this. When, when it's time for you to awaken, awaken, it's important that you notice what the other person is feeling so you will do the con contrary of what that person wants you to do. I've been asking you to address a little different. I've been asking you this or that, whatever it is. And passion, when you're lit up on fire for each other. <laughs> I had a good time with you today, my love. So did I. What'd you learn? I learned that. In our relationship, to bring our our marriage is like intimacy in Christ, and that's what Christ desires with us. And our marriage is a reflection of the love of God. Amen. All right. What'd you learn? Just that that I'm blessed, and that no matter how we think these classes, sometimes like you know. People can lose track of their marriage and take it as a routine and not wanting to do things with their marriage, with their love. You know, at one time they were they would go all out for them and and then as marriage goes on, as years go on, then it just becomes a routine and it's like it's easier just to stay home in my in my uh sweats or whatever, you know, than to go out and you know, enjoy that time with that you're with your significant other, you're the love of your life, and I learned that 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 I'm blessed because I, I we still do things, we we have our time, and we share. You know, I I love being with my wife, and I know that you love uh, being with me and sharing that time, and you know, and it doesn't grow old. You know, we enjoy it. We're in love and. I just that's why I say I'm blessed and that's what I learned like man okay we're on the right track we're 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 okay we're we're doing good we're going forward and uh it was a good overall it was a good um banquet banquet I enjoyed it the setting was awesome the word was good um nice crowd that was there and and uh the giveaway the the raffle the it was overall it was it was good and 
sometimes we think that ah, I don't need that. That's not for me. I've been married 30 years or whatever. You know, we've been together 25 years and 13 married. And, but still it's, it's good. You know, when they we have to, they tell us, turn around, talk to your spouse. You know, sometimes we don't want to say nothing, but when you do say something, you see the emotions coming out unless there's bitterness already there. But I enjoyed it. It's good. Huh? Right. Me too. I liked it. Before you turn on the light, let's get one thing understood. <laughs> they did a game of guess what your spouse has on or what? To identify. What color are my toes? Uh, red. <laughs> Red, Theo? I don't know, shit. <laughs> wow, pink. you don't check your wife out. Pink, I know the pink. Yeah. The pink, right? Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. And at the same time, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell, drop a comment, show some love, and we'll see you guys on the next video.